I'm just here to do a book review. I actually already filmed this, but I was editing it and I didn't like it because I rambled a lot and didn't make any sense. But um, yeah, I think I'll be much better at it this time around, even though I still don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm here to review the first book that I read this year, which was Graffiti Moon, which is by Kath Crowley. Um, it just was released in paperback um, a little while ago, actually, I think at the end of last year. So the book is about a girl named Lucy who's just graduated from high school, and she's going to spend the evening hanging out with her friends, just, you know, having a good time, pulling an all-nighter. Freedom. Yay! Anyway, um, what winds up happening is that she actually winds up getting stuck hanging out with this boy named Ed. She does not like Ed because they had an unfortunate incident during a date, um, during their first and only date, actually. And um, she doesn't really like him, but she wants to spend time with him because uh, she finds out that he actually can introduce her to this graffiti artist named Shadow, who she is kind of obsessed with. She's never actually met him, but she loves his artwork, and she's convinced that if they meet, they will fall in love. Um, so she does not want to hang out with Ed, but she thinks that he can lead her to Shadow, so she winds up doing it anyway. Um, uh, as the last sentence of the book puts it, the one thing that Lucy cannot see it's what is what's right in front of her eyes. So you have that. Um, I picked up the book because I had really, really great things about it on most of my Goodreads groups, I would say, um, and I was curious about it, but I wasn't sure that I would really like it because from the synopsis it sounds like Ed is Shadow and Lucy can't see that that's it and then they fall in love and okay, okay. But um, I'm really actually really, really happy that I read it because the way that the back of the book is seen is that the story is all about Lucy and it's not all about Lucy. It's actually um, told by, in a way, three different perspectives. Um, you have Lucy's story, and you have Ed telling the story also, and then you have um, a poet who is actually the, um, the the artist who writes all of the words for Shadow's artwork, um, and his poems are actually scattered throughout the book, and they're actually very, very good, and I really enjoyed them. Um, my favorite line, which I'll show to you now, her voice sounded like space and dark skies, but that night all my dreams had floors. That comes from one of Poet's poems, actually the last line of one of his poems. So I'm really happy actually that I started the book because I feel like it was a great book to start the year. It was the first book that I read this year. Um, I've read two books so far. I'm on track. Yay! Um, but um, it, was, it was really good. The writing was really good. Very, very descriptive. Um, really beautiful, actually. Um, you know, the feelings, um, the emotion, the, the description of all the artwork. It was just really honestly great. That's all I'm going to say. It's great over and over again. Um, there were parts where I was like, wow, that's really well put throughout the entire book. Um, and I really liked the characters too because they just felt so real, like real people that could actually exist somewhere. And not like, um, you kind of get like these characters where they're just like shells, where you can just, anyone can imagine that they're these characters. But I really felt like they did have like completely their own personalities and things like that. And, um, and, I, just, and I just thought it was really, really great because I could imagine them actually being real people out there somewhere in the world that this really happened to. So, I would definitely recommend the book. That's just it. I would just recommend the book um, in general. There really wasn't anything that I didn't like about the book, and I feel like this isn't a good review unless I have some sort of criticism, but that's not really true because I would just recommend the book in general. I'm sure some, not everyone's going to love it, but I certainly loved it, so there's that. Um, and it, it was just, it was really nice. You know, I liked um, Ed and Poet and um, Lucy. All, all of them, actually. I liked all of them. It was just, it was a really, really good book. And there's a lot more to it than just Searching for Shadow. Um, but, you know, it goes deeper than that. And I, I really liked it. That's it. I'm just going to keep rambling on about how much I enjoyed it. Um, I liked it because within, like, the first few pages of the book, I knew that I was going to like it. That doesn't happen a lot. There are lots of books that I loved, and I didn't know I was going to love them when I first started reading, but I did. But this is one of the books where I knew I was really going to enjoy it. Just, just few pages in. I knew I was really going to like it. So, um, anyway, that's it. I recommend it, I guess. So, tell me if you like this review. Did I do a good job? I have no idea. I, um, really, really like, you know, the other review that I filmed was okay, but not that great. Um, oh, I'm going to stop talking now because this is going to be horrible to edit, but whatever. Um, Alright, so thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about the review. Please tell me because I would like feedback because I don't know what I'm doing when I talk about the book. Make any sense? I don't know. It's not easy when you have like a person in front of you that you can actually see. I wish I could see everyone. That's not true. I just freak out. 
Um, that'd be weird. Um, but yeah, it's different. Talking, reviewing, without a face, or without typing. I'm gonna stop talking. Stop it. She's telling me to shut up. She's telling me to shut up. Bye. I would just point out, in case this bothers anyone, um, there are, um, there is some cursing, or swearing, or profanity, or cussing, I don't know what word you would use, but, um, yeah, in, in the book, so, especially in, like, um, a few of Poet's poems, there's that in there, so just, you know, just in case that's something that you look out for in books, you might want to be mindful of it. There are books that I'm like, hmm, could go either way. That's most books. I, I'm thinking of how to put this because it's difficult for me to accurately put this into words, which is bad, but whatever. Um, I don't say swear. I say the word curse. That's how I say it. I know a lot of people say cuss or swear. So, yeah. Her voice sounded like space and dark skies, but that night, all my dreams had floors.